Ah, it's going to be a great race. K4 is always exciting. Don't mind uh, skipping the ceremony to go to this race. It uh, should be a good one. Looks to be pretty uh, Eastern Europe filled today in the in the final. Belarus, Russia, Russia, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland, Serbia, Slovakia, and Norway. So you got right across the fields in some. Uh, yeah, good to see Norway in there. Obviously, a lot of success from Eric Ferris Larsen in the K1, but uh, great to see them uh, kind of maybe build on that and in, into their into their crew boats. So I guess with the Hungarian crew is the Olympic silver medalist, I believe. The yeah. Australian crew uh, def not here didn't the make the trip The awesome over. force of decided not to uh, did not to come. I think one of them is, one of them is getting married. The other one's having a wife's having a baby, and yeah. so there's all sorts of. They're, uh, they're busy at home, so it's a long trip for them, obviously. So uh, they have to make sure it's worth it if they're going to come, and I think that's why they, they kind of brought a small team. But we still got some some cracking uh, athletes here. We've got the Belarus. They, the majority of the Belarus team they watched the gold medal at the uh, the Beijing uh, Olympics. And we've got yeah. Vadim uh, Maknew and Raman uh, Petrushenko, obviously oh, yeah. uh, complete uh, gods in their country. Very strong athletes. So much success in the past. Just uh, we've got the Slovakians in lane five who uh, have had loads of success in K4 at the World Championships and Olympic Games uh, over the last eight. 10 years, so they're always someone to watch for. In the picture, not surprisingly, it's the silver medal uh, winners from the, or just been in the picture, the Hungarians and Zoltan Kamwa, 35 years old now, he's won three Olympic golds, oh. done it all. Yeah, still going strong, still, I'm sure, looking to, to win this race in front of his home crowd. Serbians uh, again they're looking uh, looking quite strong as Milenko Zoric, Erwin Hopper, Alexander Alexic, Dejan Tocic. Yeah, it's quite from the way the team's based, they got the uh, they, they, they stagger the, the weight. So the, the, the front guy only weighs 73 kilograms and he goes 84, 89, and 94. So it's amazing the boat doesn't fall back over. Yeah, no kidding. Serbia, yeah, they used to be more of just a sprinting nation, but they've really kind of moved up into the 1,000-meter distance so that they're, they're a threat in that as well. And Slovakia, a couple of baits in here. Got the uh, the classic bait with uh, Miguelo and Jankovic and Vlecek. And Unfortunately, we don't have time to, to see it, but we just uh, in front of our eyes we have uh, Francesca Redva accepting her gold medal for winning uh, the women's K1000. Yeah, Katrin Wagner Augustine getting her second medal of the day. Knows the podium pretty well. Three Olympic girls already, ten World Championship goals. She's also in the peaceful division. So they're lining up for the last televised race of the day, and they're off. 1,000 meters. World record, by the way, two two minutes 47. That was the Germans at the World's Hair a couple of years ago. Yeah, so it's not going to be anywhere near that, is it? No, I don't think so. And it's uh, the wind has died down, but it's still a slight slight headwind. So it won't be definitely won't be that fast. But uh, they're not going to hold back. You can see them going right off the start. The Slovaks in lane eight seem to be taking the lead early on. It's Peter Gallo and his crew. It's a thousand meters, but these guys cover it, like you said, pretty, pretty quickly. So there's no time to kind of sit back. You got to go for it right from the start. Yeah, it looks like both uh, Slovakian crews are right strong, and Hungary, of course, Olympic champions, doing well. As soon as the crowd picked that up, it makes things up. Make makes things pretty happy. But yeah, they're, they're all fairly fairly close at the moment. Yeah, Russia's still up there, as well as Hungary, Slovakia. Serbia still doing well. And there's the Olympic silver medalist looking strong. Russia, we've got uh, Vitaly Yuchenko, Vasily Pogreban, Zestov, Vasily. So they're all big names in the sport with uh, lots of uh, World Cup and World Olympic medals behind them. Yeah, Hungary seems to have about a third of a boat over Slovakia. There's Slovakian base coming too. Yeah, Slovakians are in second and third. See if they can chase down these Hungarians. You can see Kammer in the front there. So much experience. Just so international, 15 years now. How can you keep motivated? I just always want to be the best, you know. Just uh, every race is a new race and uh, trying to prove yourself continually. 
Uh, they're looking strong. Three hundred meters to go. It's still. It looks like Serbia is making a charge. Back on it. Followed by Slovakia, but Serbia seems to be the only ones that might be able to catch the Hungarians. Coming into the last 200 here. It's going to be a tight race for the goal. Half a second ahead with 200 meters to go. See what they got. This is your old crowd theory. See if they can come through. They're going that. That's a good shot. They're still holding them off. It's 100 meters to go. Ball. They're hungry still. Can the crowd pull them through? We'll see. Great shot from the front there. Hey, not the... Oh, it's going to be tight. Serbia, Serbia flying past. Ahead. Wow. Hungary can't hold off Serbia. Wow. Silver again for the Hungarians. <laughs> Well done to Serbia. All have their birthdays in April, by the way. I'm no, sure well, that's well, that's, <laughs> maybe that's uh, something to do with it. They're in sync. Yeah, a very impressive race by the Serbians there. They timed it perfectly. They got a big team out here this week, so it's, uh, it's great to see them yeah. actually some payback. It's the second gold medal for Serbia today, so. Uh, it's not only tennis. Yeah. They're actually very close to Serbia, aren't we? It's a few kilometers from the actual the corner of Romania and Serbia on the border. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. It's, you turn, turn the wrong way, leaving the regatta course, I think you end up in Serbia. So I'm sure they have a lot of fans here cheering for them as well. It's very quiet now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the Hungarians are always expecting a, a win in the K4 at home, but uh, the Serbians stole it from them today. That's a big win for them to come in and, and beat the Olympic silver medalists. Still early in the season, but but any time you can can uh, beat a crew like Hungary is uh, a huge boost to their confidence. And as you see the images, they uh, they know they've pulled off something quite special. Yeah, they're pretty excited. Yeah, it's great for them. Yeah, confirmation the result: Serbia, Hungary, Russia, 258 for only team to. Yeah, getting under three minutes uh, in a headwind is a strong performance.